Hello my dear family members believe me today's session will be very much helpful to you because today i'll share all the coding questions which were asked in tcs nqt from 26th april up to now as all you know in tcs nqt the coding questions are mainly asked from string array matrix and hash maps this year also they have asked the same i mean from those topic right so without any bug bug let's start with the questions which were asked right but before I proceed, I would recommend you to have the prime materials of TCS NQT in which I have included all the recent questions, all the previous year questions and all the mock test, right? So to get that knock me at my ID, instagram.com slash tech.ef. It is paid, right? Okay, so let's start with the questions. So the first question is sub array with target sum, right? So you will be given an input like an array and you have to find the sub array which is having the sum as this right let's say in this case 1 plus 2 is 3 that means the sum so you have to return the sub array 1 2 right and the sub array 3 is also having the same as the sum so we have to return the sub array only 3 right so i hope you understood right so if you understood then please give the answer in the comment section and if you want the solutions then also write i want solutions right okay Let's see who are the champs who can give the answer very fast. Okay, so let's go to the next question that is rotate matrix anti-clockwise. So in this problem, you will be given an array, a matrix as an input. So you have to just rotate the matrix anti-clockwise, right? I have already solved this problem, so I'm not going to discuss it. Okay, so the next question is fruits price, right? So in this problem, you are given an array of tuples and uh, like in the tuples, the name of the fruit, then uh, price, unit price and quantity are given, right? You have to calculate the total sales and the average sales of those, right? Like in this case, apple and orange having total uh, 20 plus 80, right? So 100 total uh, sales are is 100 and average sales is 50 right so this way you have to uh, you have to write the code okay so let's go to the next question that is sum of cube all number in a range right so let's say you are given in this problem uh, input of range like 2 to 4 right you, the output is 99 how just uh, the output will be this way 2 to the power cube plus 3 to the power cube and plus 4 to the power cube this becomes 99 right so you have to just perform this operation okay so i hope you understood i have already solved these problems please go through the playlist of teachers and qt you will get most of the problem solutions right if you don't get then still search in uh, lit code you will get it okay so the next problem is sum of table right so in this problem you are given an input as integer so that is let's say in this problem 10 and you have to sum all the multiplication tables values right so what i am telling that is uh, let's say in this problem the a, uh, n is equal to 10 right so at first you have to get uh, multiplication table values that is you know the multiplication table values that is 10 multiplied 1 is equal to 10 and 10 multiplied 2 is equal to 20 30 40 50 60 70 90 and 100 right so if you add those 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 60 plus 70 plus 90 plus 80 plus 100 then you will get this output 550 right so if you are given 9 then you have to add 9 plus 18 plus 27 plus 36 this way right so i hope you understood okay so if you understood then please give the answer in the comment section i love it okay so the next problem is maximum element in contiguous subarray, right? So in this problem, you are given an input, I mean array as an input and also the length of the subarray, right? And you have to get all the maximum values from the contiguous subarrays, right? So what they have asked, that is, they have given an array as an input and you have to get all the subarrays of this length then you have to print 
the maximum values from each contiguous sub arrays right so in this sub array 247 the maximum value is 7 that's why this is printed then the second sub array this is having 7 as the largest value so this is printed then from the third sub array 7 is also in this case uh, the maximum value so 7 is printed then in this case i mean from the fourth sub array 6 is largest that's why 6 is printed right so this way you have to print the largest values i mean the maximum element from the contiguous sub arrays right so i hope you understood okay so let me know what question solutions do you want right okay L let me go to the next question that is sum of fibonacci series so in this problem you are given an integer as an input and you have to sum all the fibonacci series up to that input right so at first you have to print all the fibonacci series values up to this i mean five then you have to add all the values right like in this case uh, up to five the fibonacci series numbers are 0 1 1 2 comma 3 so five values right if you add them 3 plus 2 becomes 5 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 right so output is 7 so this way you have to get the output right so these are very easy questions right still if you uh, see in the questions uh, then the questions is actually broad but the main gist is this so i hope you understood okay so go to the next question that is path count right so in this problem you are given an input like uh, the matrix length 3 cross 3 matrix m and n value then you are given an obstacle 2 comma 2 right so you have been given these three values as input then you are asked how many paths can be traveled by someone right so if you are given a three cross three matrix like uh, one comma two comma three then then four comma five comma six then seven comma eight comma nine right so if you are given these then and if you are having 2 comma 2 as uh, obstacle then how many ways you can travel right so in this case the matrix is starting from 1 indexing starting from 1 that's why 2 comma 2 is 5 and uh, if this is obstacle then if you want to reach these values that is m comma n so you have to reach m comma n right so that means you have to reach at 3 comma 3 so to reach this you have only two place two two path one is this way and second one is this way right so you have to just count how many ways you can travel to reach m comma n right and this is the obstacle right so i hope you understood right so if you understood then please give the answers in the comment section so i hope you loved this session right and if you think that this video added value to your preparation then please recommend it your friend to watch the techno uf content and please subscribe this channel and make others to subscribe this channel and please have the prime materials of tcs nqt in which i have included all the cracking materials right so i hope you will consider that so thank you for today's session